Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to learn and write fourth class Mass Magic Workbook Semester 2 Geometry. Worksheet number 8. Subtopic Area. First question Draw any shape on the grid paper with complete boxes and find its perimeter and area in square units. We can take 5 boxes here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You may color which color do you want. Okay. Its perimeter is 2 lengths plus 2 breadths. 2 lengths means 2 lengths that is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 centimeters plus breadth is 1 centimeter plus 5 centimeters plus 1 centimeter that is equal to total. 12 centimeters. Next to area is equal to length into breadth. So length is equal to 5 units. Into breadth is 1 unit. It is equal to 5 into 1. That is equal to 5 square units. Next question. Draw a square on the grid paper of 7 units side. Find its area in square units. So, 7 units. We can take 7 units in the grid paper. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You may color it. Which color do you want? Yes. Area is equal to length into breadth. That is equal to length is equal to 7 units into breadth is equal to 1 unit. So 7 into 1 that is equal to 7 square units. Next question, draw a rectangle on the grid paper with the length 8 units, breadth 6 units. Find its area. Length of rectangle is equal to 8 units. So, we can take 8 boxes here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And breadth is 6 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So length is equal to 8 units, breadth is equal to 6 units. So area is equal to length into breadth. That is equal to length is equal to 8 units into breadth is equal to 6 units. That is equal to 8 into 6. 8, 6 is 48 square units. Next question. Draw a rectangle on the grid paper with the length 6 units and breadth 4 units. Find its area. Length is equal to 6 units. Breadth. Breadth is equal to 4 units. So length is equal to 6 units. We can take here 6 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is length. Breadth is equal to 4 units. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So length is equal to 6 units. Breadth is equal to 4 units. So area is equal to length into breadth that is equal to length is equal to 6 units into breadth is equal to 4 units 6 into 4 that is equal to 6 4 is 24 square units so area of the rectangle is equal to 24 square units
నెక్స్ట్ వర్క్షీట్ నెంబర్ నైన్ సబ్ టాపిక్ సర్కిల్ ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ నేమ్ సమ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ద షేప్ గివెన్ బ్యాంగిల్ స్మాల్ ప్లేట్ ఎక్సెట్రా ఆర్ లుక్ లైక్ సర్కిల్ గ్లోబ్ వీల్ బాల్ నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ డ్రా ఏ లైన్ అలాంగ్ కర్వ్డ్ ఎడ్జ్ ఆఫ్ ఏ బ్యాంగిల్ ప్లేట్ స్మాల్ వాటర్ బాటిల్ క్యాప్ వ్రైట్ ద నేమ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద షేప్స్ యూ అప్టైండ్ దిస్ ఈస్ క్యాప్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ బాటిల్ so this is a circle this also circle and you may draw other examples here next question draw three circles and color them here you may color these circles which color do you like okay next question take a chart and draw a circle cut it around identify the center radius and perimeter of the circle i make a circle here so this is this is called center of the circle and this is called radius of the circle and this is perimeter of the circle this is center of the circle next to this is radius of the circle and this is perimeter of the circle next question make different shapes with the tangram you prepared you may try to make these tangrams and prepare different shapes okay next worksheet number 10 sub topic assessment first question draw the shapes and write the names of the objects which are in the shapes from your surroundings serial number name of the shape diagram name of the objects rectangle this is rectangle names blackboard chart textbook door table bench etc next square square have four equal sides objects are dice carrom board chess board floor tiles or etc next to circle ball globe 1 rupee coin wheel uh, tire a uh, bangle etc objects of circle next triangle objects are cone eyes joker hat birthday hat etc next question write the number of sides and number of corners in the following table for the given shapes serial numbers name of the shape number of sides number of corners first one is rectangle rectangle has four sides rectangle has four corners next to circle circle do not have neither edges nor corners so zero triangle has three edges and three corners next question what is the perimeter of the given shape so perimeter refers to the total length of the boundary so 3 plus 7 plus 5 plus 4 that is equal to 19 centimeters next to 6 plus 8 plus 10 that is equal to 24 centimeters this triangle perimeter is 24 centimeters this pentagon has all equal sides 6 centimeter into 1 2 3 4 5 sides that is equal to 6 sides 
30 centimeters. So perimeter of the pentagon is 30 centimeters. Next question. Perimeter of the rectangle is 50 centimeter and its length is 15 centimeter. What is the breadth of the rectangle? So this is rectangle. Perimeter is 50 centimeters. So length is equal to 15 centimeters. So length is equal to 15 centimeters. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to two lengths and two breadths. So perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into L plus B. That is equal to 50 centimeters. We know that length is 15 centimeters. So 2 into L means length. That is equal to 15 plus B breadth. We don't know. Is equal to 15. 50 centimeters so 2 into 15 plus 2 into b that is equal to 50 centimeters so 2 into 15 is equal to 30 plus 2b that is equal to 50 centimeters so 2b is equal to 50 minus 30 so b is equal to 20 by 2 we may cancel it 2 ones are 2 2 tens are 20 that is equal to 10 so b is equal to 10 centimeters so breadth is equal to 10 centimeters next question perimeter of a triangle with all equal sides is 15 centimeter what is the length of each side this is a triangle with perimeter of 15 centimeters so this triangle has three sides with equal sides so perimeter of triangle is three equal sides. One, two, three. Three sides. So perimeter is the total length of all sides of a triangle. So perimeter of a triangle is equal to three sides. One, two, three. Three sides. So perimeter of triangle is equal to 15 centimeters. Perimeter of triangle is equal to three all equal sides that is equal to 15 centimeters so one side of a triangle is equal to so s is equal to 15 by 3 so 3 ones are 3 fives are so 5 centimeter so one side of triangle is equal to 5 centimeter so this side is 5 cm and this side is 5 cm. This side also 5 cm. So total length of triangle is equal to 15 cm. That means perimeter of a triangle is equal to 15 cm. So one side is equal to 5 cm. Next question. Draw a square on a grid paper whose side is 6 units. Find its perimeter. 6 units. We take 6 units 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Length is 6 units and breadth also 6 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is square whose side is 6 units. So square has 4 equal sides. Length of one side of a square is equal to is equal to 6 units. So perimeter of a square is equal to 4 equal sides. That is equal to 4 into 1 side is equal to 6 units. 6 units. That is equal to 4 6 are 24 square units. Next question. A top of a table occupies 20 equal size papers. Then find its area. The table occupied by the papers is equal to 20. So area of the table 20 papers. Next question. 
Next question. Draw a rectangle on the grid paper with length 5 units and breadth 4 units. What is the area of the rectangle? So length is equal to 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 units. Breadth is 4 units. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is rectangle. 5 units. This is 4 units. Length of rectangle is equal to 5 units. Breadth of rectangle is equal to 4 units. Area of the rectangle is equal to length into breadth. L into B. That is equal to L means length 5 units into breadth 4 units. So that is equal to 4 5 are 20. 20 square units. So, area of the rectangle is equal to 20 square units. Okay. We will continue other topic with another video. Until then, bye. Thank you.